So I am going to take y'all with me this morning to go look at this home. And I don't really know how I feel. So I scheduled an appointment to look at the home. But as I was just looking at some of the details um, from the pictures or whatever that they have listed, I don't think this is going to be the move, but I don't like wasting anybody's time either. So I'm going to go look at this home. I'm going to take y'all with me. Now, for sure, I know that I want at least a three bedroom. I would rather have a four so that my girls can have their own room. But for right now, uh, I would settle for a three bedroom. Bathroom, I got to have my own bathroom. Like, sharing the bathroom with the kids has been unpleasant. You know how when you come home from a restaurant and everybody gotta use the bathroom. So y'all running to see who gonna use the bathroom first. Uh, I don't want that to no longer be a problem of mine. So top priority would be at least two bathrooms, three bedrooms. I would prefer four, possibly either five, but I don't I don't like extra space with nothing in it. I don't want no guest room, so Maybe the fifth room would be my office slash content creation room. But like I said, like I said, I will definitely settle for the three right now. But the top priority is two or more bathrooms. Um, there's a few different listings for this home. That's confusing. One of them says four bathroom, uh, four bedroom, three and a half bathroom. And then the rest is in between three bedrooms, two and a half baths, or just one bath. It's just, it's different listings for this home. So somebody lying. But anyway, we gonna we gonna see what's up. Uh I'm headed there now. Like I said, I wanna take y'all with me to view this home. Uh there was a lot of suspect stuff about this house but we gonna hope for the best this morning you know i was i was really like i don't know so the person lives in some other state all the way across the country somewhere trying to sell this home here so when i um contacted them and asked was the home still available they said uh yes and i asked can i view it and they asked for my ID so that they could tell me where the hidden key was. So I was like, a hidden key across the country? You live all these other states away. So I was like, um, nah, can you have somebody meet me there? Who knows what's going to happen when you walk in, right? Somebody could be waiting to bamboozle you or whatever. We we not uh, we not speaking bad or nothing over here. I'm just saying the fact that it was a hidden key and all I had to do was submit my ID to go look at this house. So all that was red flags, whatever, however. But you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a G, so we're going to keep the faith and see what happens. But um, they said that they can have the realtor meet me <clears throat> to come show me the house. So I was like, okay, cool. So she gave me the first name of the realtor. And when I look back at the listing on maybe two of the sites, it did list that person's first name and last name. So I was like, you know what? Let me hit up the, um, <clears throat> the realtor's office where this person works and just see for myself if this is a legit person approaching a level crossing so um <clears throat> i was like okay hit up the office and then the office was like <clears throat> we don't do that um it sounds like a scam but i'm gonna give you her number directly so you can talk to her so now i'm like oh my gosh <clears throat> I call her from the number that the other person in the office gave me. And she was like, oh, hello. 
So I was like, uh, I want to make sure that I'm supposed to be meeting you at such and such time of day. And she was like, oh, yes, ma'am. I said, well, your office just said that that was a scam, um, that you guys don't do anything like that, whatever, yada, yada, whatever, however. She's like, oh, no, I'm just helping this particular uh, seller um, with this home because they do live such and such all the way, whatever. And I'm just helping them. But typically, we don't do this. But I, like I said, I'm helping them because they are states and states away. So I was like, okay, I guess now I feel even much better. So I was going to go ahead and view the home right then instead of waiting on the realtor. And I was like, nah, just in case, because I still don't want to give this, this person my ID. I don't know them from nowhere. So whatever, I'll just wait on the realtor where I don't have to get my ID. The realtor knows where the key is. It's nothing for me. Whatever, just pull up, look at the house. They don't have none of my information. So um, that's what we are doing this morning. <clears throat> and then another thing about this house is that it has a mother-in-law suite in the back. Even though it's a private gate, the mother-in-law suite is further back behind that gate. So I don't have to share a parking space or whatever because they are selling the mother-in-law suite separate. I still don't know how I feel about that. Um, I'm going to see if, if the realtor has the keys. So I can show y'all the mother-in-law suite as well. And maybe that's where the extra bedroom slash bathrooms is coming from. The property period. Including the mother-in-law suite. But if they're not selling it together. Um, I don't know. So we're going to see. I'm still kind of super <sighs> hyped about going to see this home. Hopefully it has the number of bathrooms that I'm looking for at a minimum. If not, that's going to be a deal breaker for me. So yeah, we are almost there. So I'll be back y'all. Okay, you guys, so we are getting to the area where the Hopeful. This is, I wouldn't consider this the hood. Um, I haven't lived in this area since I was a little girl. Um, so I'm, I'm familiar with the area. raising my children up in this area again uh, maybe a lot has changed it wasn't too much of anything going on that I can remember as a little girl living on this side of town but um, now that my children are older I'm kind of particular about where I want them to be raised so okay that is 23 something okay so this looks like the home here you guys it is at a dead end and the realtor is waiting on me so um i'm about to hop out and let's see now would you be doing the main house you would be doing the main house and then she said something about your brother Doing the little one, maybe? Mm hmm Okay. Okay. I'm just going to record right going through. Okay. Uh, this is the first bedroom. Okay. Okay. Does the fireplace work in there? The fireplace? No. Okay. 
Oh, this bedroom actually looks bigger than. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. This one's bigger than the other two. Okay. Oh, I love the kitchen. Mm hmm. And the backyard is great as well. And these are new appliances. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm, super cute. And would the mother-in-law suite have access here or you have to leave here? We have to go all the way around that way. So that way, so it's private. Okay, okay, okay. It's already fenced in. Huh? I said it's already fenced in. Mm-hmm. There's some broken glass back here. <laughs> oh no. I mean the only thing I can think of is the brand of brick. Okay, okay, okay. But I'm not sure. <laughs> So it'll be street parking for right here mm -hmm. and then that is super cute mm -hmm. oh my gosh this is super cute i'll have to put like one of the kids back here when they get older <laughs> this is super cute yes okay How about, how is the, how would the noise be? Like, so, would you be able to hear through the walls? I honestly can't answer that. Okay. I mean, I know that this is the common wall right here. Mostly over on that side, because this end kind of sticks out from, you know, where the back. All right, y'all. So y'all already know my deal breaker was the one bathroom. I can't do it. it. It was super cute. You can tell that it is an older house. Even though it does have the new renovations. It definitely gives um, older home. Newly renovated. Um, if I was starting out. I would say that that's a cute starter home. If it was the first home, I would have dealt with that. I would have been happy and excited. That is a cute starter home. Now, I did love the mother-in-law suite, even though it has no access to the actual home. It's right on the side. So they extended the property from where the back porch stops they started extending the property for a whole nother home and maybe it all came together at one point and then they just put the wall up or whatever however I don't know I'm just guessing from what I see the mother-in-law suite is super cute you guys I love it I would even duck off back there from the kids and stay in the mother-in-law suite or when the children got older uh put somebody back there with a bunch of cameras and surveillance or whatever um overall the house is super duper cute for a first time person but not for me The kitchen, I absolutely love. The bedroom, you 
literally can't do too much with those. The closet spaces are super little. I have so much that that home wouldn't do it for me. I would definitely need way more space just for my personal things. I would probably have to use two of those rooms. I'm not even sure my king bed would fit comfortably in those rooms. And if so, what would I do with like my dresser and nightstands and all of those things? I don't know. Overall, it is a no for me. The bathroom renovation is super cute. I don't know why they have that little maybe sitting area. I'm going to call it a sitting area. I don't know why that's there. The tub is already super small. You know, they, they did what they had to do as far as the renovation goes. To the right but then the stuff on her porch was giving scary movie creepy freaking friday or something <laughs> i don't know I, the neighbors definitely have i i don't know you you gotta keep your house up too like the whole neighborhood needs to look clean um, that's another thing the grass wasn't cut which I'm not concerned with because they would have had it cut before moving in um, I did notice uh, it has ring camera or whatever at the front door and then some other cameras outside as well and I don't really know how I don't feel about that I don't know if the original owner would still have access some type of way or if it's like hidden cameras hopefully it's not but i don't know um that that one bathroom was the deal breaker for me so it's a no but thank y'all for going on this ride with your girl and i'm out